can slot him in anywhere in those front five attacking positions. Daniel Shalloway on the left. Can he continue to get vertical, but also find his spaces inside to cre create? And Memo Rodriguez gets another start in midfield as the number eight. Meanwhile, the challengers who hail from the Pacific Northwest are going to make a few changes after a rough result against Vancouver last weekend. Yeah, a rough result against Vancouver. One before that as well. That's three straight losses, as you stated. They're going to need a lot of players to step up. Two teams that are typically spearheading the superiority of the Western Conference in Major League Soccer as Armando Villarreal gets us underway from Children's Mercy Park. We invite you to turn off the world. And and he takes the approach that these are the guys who are going to help you win games as this is lofted over the top for Willie Agata. The flag stays down. It's Willie Agata. Craig Paul makes the save and it's cleared away. So both goalkeepers called into action before we reach the seven-minute mark. Tommy Voltaire cleans it up as the referee says play on through the advantage once again. Tommy. Agata takes it on the first time. And Sporting Kansas City draw first blood. And it is blue blood. Willie Agata with his third strike game with a goal contribution. It falls to him. Not quite tight enough from Portland. Too much time on the ball, too much space. Just driving forward there, finding the moment. Takes a deflection there, but then it's one time. Curls it with the boot. Top corner. Eric Thomas says, no one's going to stop. I'm going to take my space. Another deflection off the defender, but at the end of the day, it's 1-0, Sporting KC. Agata being selfish, just as Peter Vermees called for. Winning positions, that's worst in Major League Soccer. Agata picking out Shallowy. Going for goal with the left foot, and Crepo was expecting some sort of delivery and had to reorganize. But he nearly fooled the keeper. Looking corner in, and it's a goal. Danny Rosero was able to beat Craig Poe to the punch. And Sporting Kansas City doubled their lead before halftime. It's 2-0. Portland looked like they maybe wanted a foul on the goalkeeper, but I, that's a 50-50. Craig Poe's coming out. Rosero's coming in, willing to take the contact. Just times this perfectly. Nobody's marking him. Craig Poe's the only one in and around him. He takes the punch after the header. Well done by Rosero on that one. The Colombian putting his head where few men would. You can't get those right, you're going to be in trouble. And some of that is. I mean, no one was marking Rosero. I know Crepo comes off his line, but nobody's in there. Tim Leibold goes for it himself, and he's got a couple angry teammates, including Memo Rodriguez, who were looking for it. It's an awkward spot if you're Crepo. There's a lot of room in between the line of confrontation. And the six-yard box, this is just digged in. Rosero is there, so is Volner, and it's tapped in! It's Willie Agata, and it's his second! And Sporting might have just put this to bed before we've even hit the halftime whistle. It's 3-0. Back across, it falls to Volner on the back post. Rosero in an offside position. Looks like that one's going to be called back. They could be one of the best teams in the Western Conference, but they haven't had enough of it tonight. I was just thinking about that on that last play out. Another tough challenge here. This one on Bravo and he points. And it's a penalty. The spot. Side the box. Is it on the edge of the 18? Is it in? And looking for a marquee moment on a gorgeous Sunday afternoon. Willie Agata. And he pulls it wide. Maybe he saw Craig Poe going to his right. The side he had already chosen to go. And he pulls it well left of the post. Bravo. Not a bad looking ball in for Mora. Was he fouled? Yes, he was. And it's a penalty on the other end. We had this conversation with Phil Neville in the week. That to me is a clear penalty. <laughs> Significant gust throughout the Kansas City area since last night. So it's not a surprise. We'll try it one more time. Evander buries it, and it's 3-1. So a missed penalty on one end to put the game to bed, and now a little bit of life, a little bit of hope for Phil Neville's side. Just cool and calm. He knew where he was going the whole time. Doesn't even do a hesitation. Melia, one of the best goalkeepers at Penn. And with the injury not being a head injury, referee's not forced to stop the play. 
This one lofted in, Rodriguez waiting for it, brings it down. Rodriguez lashes it across, and it's in! It crossed the line! And it's a second for Portland, and it's the substitute, Felipe Mora, off the feed from Jonathan Rodriguez. It's 3-2! to two. Another biblical collapse at home from Sporting Kansas City. And that's a great ball in over the top, Rodriguez. So calm, he brings it down with the chest, and he drives it back across the balls. There's an eighth-minute stoppage time goal against Columbus in week two as Arakami down on the far side. Anthony goes through one defender, goes for goal himself. Loose rebound after Milia parried it away. Now we're going to have a quarter. Tommy is still down over on the far side of the field. Evander trying to avoid the challenge. On his backside, keeps possession. Angle towards Rodriguez. Back across, and it's just wide. But Jonathan Rodriguez becoming more and more a part of this game. And now Evander up against Tommy. The nutmeg gets through the German. In from Anthony, Paredes lining up the header, big save for Mila, and the follow-up is in! Flag stays down! And Portland have turned this game on its head! It's 3-3! But the two players in the double there, Leibold and Tommy, they're not really putting on a ton of pressure with the double. Polito comes back in, and Paredes gets all the power on the header to force... For Sporting Kansas City on the road against Toronto, his first Major League Soccer goal last weekend. And the crowd desperately trying to get back into this one. Voltaire whips it in. Vargas is there. And it's over the crossbar. You hear the crowd. They wanted Rodrigo just to launch that ball forward. You know there's not much time left. And that's going to do it full time. The tale of two halves ends in a 3-3 draw. Peter Vermees' first half juggernauts.